Hi, my name is Ralph and you're watching 2HP. Today we'll test the new Japanese pickup Toyota Hilux. Stay with us and enjoy! I think Hilux can be easily introduced as a legendary pickup, as its story has started in 60s of the last century. Such a small Japanese horsey, however, it's not so small in real. It's obvious that Hilux of 8th generation is a trial to reach a 21st century by an active center split. As a result, a big color monitor and a trip computer with a great deal of information for your car have appeared in this Hilux. Also, in this grade you'll find hill descent and elevating systems, seat heater, climate control and other useful options which were not that easy to find in Hilux altogether before. Moreover, there was no monitor and trip computer in the previous Hilux versions. Now let's evaluate the interior design. It's logically square cut and this car is practical and brutal. In this case we're getting the impression that somewhere in the middle the Euclidean geometry comes in contact with the Lobachevsky theory and here we have the Mobius strip. Of course, some of you will like such a design and frankly speaking, I'm not excited of it. Let the Japanese do everything in their traditional way and yes, a watch we have here. Point number two in our program is unitizing. If you look at the instrument panel, then it looks like Toyota Camry. If at the monitor, just yesterday I saw it in Toyota Auris. Traditionally for Toyota cars you have a buttons placer, well it's also a way to make the production cheaper. Actually I would like to thank the engineers for a cup holder amount. There is a lot of them here, two on the center console on each side in door cards. Further, you'll definitely detect two more cup holders on the car dashboard. They are masked, but by pushing the correct button these cup holders will appear. I'm sure that most of you will appreciate the hand grips on the pile and ceiling. The same holders have passengers who will be more than lucky. One thing that disturbs me here is this big and wide leather armrest, as it doesn't have a height adjustment. Before starting the car, I would like to tell you one story about how Hilux is becoming modern. Each time after filling up the fuel tank, Trip Computer proposes you to feed the fuel cost for a calculator to transfer kilometers into liters and you'll understand the cost of your journey. But of course, all those calculators, hand grips, trips, computers are nothing comparing to the rear view camera. Before I had pickup Mitsubishi L200, now I use Nissan NP300. And on both cars I have changed the bumpers, because the rear view camera it's very important and useful option, trust me. You 
Usually in pickups nobody takes care of backseat passengers, even piglets in bed don't. But this time Toyota has done its best. It's comfortable here, you have enough of a free space, even the armrest has two cup holders, but let's check if the engineers have paid attention to the additional sections inside the car. The rear seat back can be back adjusted, but at least you can raise the seats, and under one of it you'll find a tiny place for your stuff. A screw block is located under another seat, but unfortunately we cannot open it. So let's believe the Hilux engineers on their bare words. Frankly speaking, it's a defeat. For those who are fond of sticking in the mud, I remind of the rear wheel drive in eco mode, further you can switch the all wheel drive. The center differential blocking, all these options will definitely prolong your agony in the off-road conditions. Hilux is a real pickup, the frame girders are enhanced, the suspension is modified. This means that on the bad roads and on the unloaded car you'll feel a notable discomfort, as the car will be jolting. But as soon as you load the car, you'll get a comfortable limousine. This pickup is equipped with a 2.8 turbo diesel engine, 177 horsepower, a torsion torque is 450 newton meters. You might feel all the car power, especially when using a sport mode for gearbox and the engine at the same time. Yes, you have both of them here. Six-speed automatic transmission, very comfortable in usage until you try to stop or to start slowly. In this moment between first and second gear, some kind of an internal dialogue happens. I'll call it even a grand mall, which you'll definitely feel on the brake pedal and generally in the whole car. Why it reacts in this way I don't know yet, but I suppose that the reason might be the car is totally new and all the details are just starting to get acquainted with each other. It's worth to mention that alongside the good music system the Japanese also have improved the sound insulation, so you can really enjoy their rhythm and bass. In general, inside the car you don't feel yourself like a hard-working countryman Johnny, instead you feel like you are driving the modern and fully featured SUV, for example, like a Highlander. On the asphalt this car looks the same attractive like on the off-road. The suspension is powerful, but at the same time the car is not rolling at all. Nothing is squealing and the piglets in the bed are safe, even if they are just virtual. Four hundred fifty newton meters is a goodly strong torsion torque, but here by Hilux shows good fuel efficiency result. Seven nine liters of diesel in the city, six point five out of the city. My conclusion concerning the Hilux will be short. 
finally the engineers have begun thinking about the driver and passengers comfort the same. It's not an inferior wheeling horse anymore. Now it's a dual use car. If you want piglets, deal with piglets. Fond of hunting? Go on hunting. Fishing? No problem. Do you want to pass 1000 kilometers and to stay in the 21st century at the same time? Here you are. And trust me, Mitsubishi L200 and Nissan Nevera go the same way. Why? The time has come. <laughs>